Hello, good evening, and welcome to Wednesday Night with Sandra from Sandra's Stamp and Craft Studio. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you today... Oh, sorry, I've got you down onto the camera already. Look, let me bring you back to me. Okay, I'm getting the next one ready. Um, I'm going to be bringing you something today. As you saw from the slide at the beginning there, what would it be if it wasn't what it was? Now, this has got a little tail to it. I believe I touched on this briefly. Um, I had a dear work colleague um, once who would sit there and pick something that we I was on the table, something within view, and said, what would it be if it wasn't what it was? Hi, Shaz, lovely to see you. Glad I'm in the right place. Well done, thank you. Um, so this is where this has come from because I'm using something totally different. And if you gathered from the slide at the start, um, I am using the, I have got, you, you got out the daffodil set. Um, so I'm just going to get you down onto the table now. Let's move you across. So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to be using from the mini catalogue, sorry for the, all the post-it notes. I have some flags in there for different things. I'm actually going to be using the daffodil set here. And I'm using the dies, just the dies tonight. So the dies are down the bottom here. Lovely bundle. I'll just show you a couple of quick projects that I've done previously with it. So this was a, uh, um, a long, thin card because Stampin' Up! have brought out these lovely long envelopes and they are pre-printed on the inside. Um, so they come in a range of this five white, five grey and five mint, I believe. So you get 15 in a packet there. So that's one that I've done with the daffodil dies. And then to complement that, I did as a picture, as a frame. Now, there's an item in here. I've shown you the dies. We'll come back to the celebration catalogue in a sec because I'm using some of the papers. Um, so in the dies here, um, there is a piece in there that I will be using for something totally different. And I want you to know if you change the colour on one of those pieces, that's what's going to be my project tonight. Stamp with Joy. Hi, Joy. Nice to see you. You're looking forward to it. You see, the catchy title does it, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to be having another stab at a different envelope that I did Sunday night. Same sort of principle, but I'll make the card, the envelope to fit the card I'm making tonight. It's a standard envelope, but there's an element on here that I'm using. So I might come back to that. I'm just putting that out of sight there. Um, I don't need that one. So um, I'm going to intrigue you a little bit. So I'm going to go to the back of the catalogue and just let you know the papers that I'm using today will be from the hostess, hostess papers here at the back. So I'm using Pattern Party, and I absolutely love them. Um, they are gorgeous. I haven't got all of the colours here out, but I've got some half-inch ones. They're a little bit easier to fan out and show you. If you haven't caught me so far, there's definitely the blue one isn't there, because I've been using that one, and the one I'm using tonight is the green one. So that's one side, and on the back, they are all black and white. So I think this is a fabulous set and it's a hostess item um, and just loving them to bits. So we are using this green tonight, but I will cut you through the whole process. OK, so that's where the two products that I'm using. So if I say to you, I'm going to bring on, I'm going to cut my paper first, actually. So this is the green, granny apple green, and it's got the dots on the back. So I'm going to take my trimmer and I'm going to... The first person that guesses, when I start to build some of the pieces, I'm not going to show you my card, the first person that thinks they can guess, as long as Trisha doesn't come on here, if any of my ladies that have just been on my Wing It Wednesday um, appear, they're not allowed to guess, okay, because they have had a preview. So I will need half a sheet of this to do my envelope, okay, so I'm taking this um, and I'll put that one away out of sight, okay. Now to go with this, I'm actually going to go slightly different. I'm actually going to put um, the garden green with it. So it seems strange, but I think it does work. And I hope you will agree with me as to what I'm going to show you. I'm really excited about it. I had a prototype, which also I can't show you yet. I'll show you at the end. Um, I had a prototype and I, um, I came back to it today and I really didn't like it. So I have got all of these little white pieces here, okay? So we are going to be using my silicon mat. I'm gonna bring this one on here as well. And we're gonna be building some of these pieces. So I've got a cocktail stick there just in case I need. Sorry, toothpick for those in the States. So I'm just gonna put some Tombow on my mat. 
This is, I just use a little glass jar as my weighted jar just to stand my Tombow in. And my trusty tweezers, those of you who know, let me just turn this around. Okay, so I'm gonna be sticking a load of these together. Now, if you look at that on its own and you say, what, I'll put it over here, what would it be if it wasn't what it was? I can instantly think of something else as well, not what I'm doing. I'm just gonna bring you in a bit closer so you can see me. Okay, and I am right-handed, so I'm gonna to have to switch this all round. I feel a bit cockeyed tonight. So let's try and go, let's go there. So this piece here, I can see a skittle there. So if any of you want to play skittles, I can see a skittle on that. So I'm going to be using this um, overlay piece and I have, this is a bit sticky on here. I haven't washed it again. I was crafting earlier. Um, so I'm just going to tap my little piece of sponge here, just off the camera. And I'm just going to pop this over the bottom here and just put a layer on there. So on its own, I think it looks like a skittle. So I'm going to start a new game now. You can play with me. What would it be if it wasn't what it was? Okay. And this is all thanks to my friend Sue. So Sue was an ex-work colleague um, from Ipswich when I worked um, for Barclays Bank. And there was three, uh, three Sues and Sandra. So the, we were commonly known as the four S's. But we had lots of fun with that whenever we were out. What would it be if it wasn't what it was? Now, this is why I wanted the cocktail stick, because I need to just get that over a little bit more. And I'm just going to dip that in the adhesive. Just bring you over a little bit. And I'll just stick that underneath there because it didn't quite catch on the, probably my tweezers were in the way. Okay, this is half the battle assembling this, but it gives me a chance to chat to you. Um, and that one's gone the same again, I think. I'll try and get more glue on there on the next one. So I need a few of these pieces. Um, can you think of anything else that it could be if it's not a skittle? Because I've just suggested that one. Okay, it's a good game to play when you're out and about and you think, oh, what could it be if it wasn't what it was? And when you sit it a few times, it kind of rolls. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes, a skill. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Multi multilingual here. Sorry. Yes, a bowling pin. Okay. Yes, I do know. Yeah, bowling pin. It's another word for it. But you could see the likeness, Joy, couldn't you? So I'm just pressing those down as I go. I was going to have some of these done ready. Um, but we had a minor little issue before I came on with regards to my heater in here. Hence, you can see I'm wearing a big chunky neck jumper. Um, I have a, my, our wood burner is playing up. We've got an issue with it. So I can't have that on. So my gas heater in here, I left it on to warm up the room for me. And the gas cylinder ran out. So the gas was still pumping out. So we had a little bit of an issue there. So I think we're over the, the danger zone. We've got a carbon monoxide um, detector up there. So I'm sure the alarm would go off if I was in danger. Okay, so I'm just using this little piece of sponge on the top and bottom and my tweezers are holding that in place. Okay. So I'm placing those on there like so. Just giving you a bit of time to work out what you think it could else, what else it could be. And you can't see my project off site here. I've just checked on the camera, it's not showing. But I'm really, really chuffed with it. I've not seen anybody else do this. So it will be on the demonstrator plan in place when I finish this live. So it's, it's new to completely new. I just, I have this knack of seeing things that some of my customers, um, my team would have said to me, I just see things that aren't there. Um, so it's just, yeah, oh, there you go, come down. Only one more, there we go. We needed six for this project, okay. Last one to do. So any other guesses? I can't see it, I can only see two, two lots of comments on there. I was interested actually the fact that YouTube is behaving exactly the same as Facebook for, does for me and I can actually see your names when I go live in the global share fair group that um, Joy and I are in um, it doesn't bring up the names it because it just says Facebook user so it's a bit of a shame really so that's the first piece okay oh I've frozen lobster claws no but I like it 
You've just got to wait for me to catch up because I think the camera's frozen just before I put that last one down. So we're now going to build my card. So I'm going to bring those pieces over when the camera's caught up. I'll just have, be able to have a slurp of my tea because I've been talking um, for the last two hours on my Wing It Wednesday. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Am I here? I'm live. There we go. Okay. That's just wetted the whistle. So I'm going to bring my card pieces over now. And I'm going to make all of my card up um, first. So I'm going to take a piece of, this is the, the Granny Apple Green card. Let me just bring you over a bit. Now I've stuck those together. I think I can bring you out a little bit. So you're not right close to me. So I'm going to stick these ones together. Um, this is just a strip, it's the six inch strip that I cut it to. Um, so I'm going to pop this, oh, and I'm actually using the dot and black and white on here, sorry. So I go all the way around the edges on here. We'll build the base of my card. So I'm, I'm drawing it out a little bit, aren't I? So I, I normally build from the base upwards. Okay, and hopefully we're going to have time to do the envelope too. I think the envelope is a bit tight for the U the UK um, market envelopes, but um, we'll see see if it's going to work for me. So I'm going to just cut that off. There's a bit of glue on there, so that's going to get my scissors mucky, isn't it? Just wipe them on a tissue so they don't stick together. So this panel is going to go right down the middle of the card. Okay. And put that one on make our panels all nice and pretty there we go and just eyeball that if you want to push push your mat out of the way you can actually use your board so if you get it in the center here between two lots of lines and at the bottom here you can work out where the center is so i've got like two and nearly three on that side and i've got yeah nearly three on that side Okay, so from top to bottom you can see where your lines are going. So that's that piece. I'll bring the mat back. So what's going to happen here is we are going to put... Oh, I've got two pieces of black there. I need two pieces that are going to go together. So I've got my these two pieces here. I'm going to pop that to one side. These two pieces, this is in centimetres. So 12, uh, 12 by 8.5 and then three and a half by 11 and a half. If I just grab the ruler, Joy, I'll tell you what they are in inches. So this, the black layer is three and an eighth by, oh, your cards are different proportion to me. So I would say that's about four and five eighths. You want it to be a, just a fraction smaller. So just two mat layers. There is no set size, but when we finish with this, it's gonna sit nicely in the middle of that card like so. Okay, so I'm just checking that they match nicely because I did cut two different pieces. There we go, and this one can go down. This side time the green, the granny apple green is up uppermost. And a little dot in the back there. Now I'm not gonna stick this one down fully. Okay. So that's gonna be my panel and that's gonna go on the front of my card. Get the post-it notes out of the way. I seem to be quite a bit over the back here today, so I'm leaning a long way across the table, so I apologise if I'm jumping in and out of focus. So I don't need that piece. That's for the sentiment. So I'm going to do the sentiment next, actually, so that's ready. And then we'll get... I'm just stringing you out because I want to draw it out, you see. It's what would it be what it, if it wasn't what it was. What is the Wing It Wednesday? So Wing It Wednesday, Shaz, you can come and join us anytime. Um, I have a group of ladies who like to just come on and we just craft. We It's a bit like a knit and natter. We just craft. Sometimes I'll issue a challenge, maybe a sketch. Um, but it's got more that we've got things to projects to finish. So everybody will just do their own thing. I have done, I've got some, um, a, a box of um, like flags and I'll pull out three flags and they've all got something on them. So it's a bit like a tic-tac-toe and I will pull out three of those and we'll have, right, it might be floral, it might be neutrals, it might be something else. Um, so the three things, and we've got to use those three things, whatever we want to do, our own stash. It's not paid for class, it's just using our own stash. Now, I need to just let you know where, where this greeting is from. 
the sentiment I've got here it's sending warm and happy wishes this spring which I thought was lovely so this one comes from this greeting up here um, it's Easter friends haven't christened this one yet um, but I've this was in my last order uh, Lisa you're yeah you're not allowed to guess Lisa as to what it is don't give the clues away so Lisa was Lisa's in my wing at Wednesday and um, we just pop on and craft so she's been making some tags but I love this greeting it was I'm not really one for happy Easter I don't give Easter cards um, but I wanted something that was spring like so that's what I've done for there so I get my black memento out of the way and recover my little mini trimmer if I know where I've buried it here just now I've been using it there it is it's under the frame up at the frame on top of it so I'm going to trim the top and the bottom layers so that they are really close to the writing I want this to be as narrow as I can without cutting the loops off my top letters and the tails off my bottom letters so there's that one I don't think I can get much off here but I might get a shave off there just a tiny slither so this is a lovely little guillotine. Sadly, Stampin' Up! don't do it anymore. Um, so it's good for small work. So I want this to be straight ends and I'm going to use my um, double-ended punch. So just get that one ready. Okay. It sounds lovely. Yes, anyone's welcome to join in. Overseas, you're welcome to join in. So if anybody wants to join me, then please just send me a message. Um, we do it fortnightly. So it, it was fell this Wednesday and it will be two weeks time. It's seven till whenever we want to stop really. Um, but now I'm doing the nine o'clock. It will stop, stop probably about quarter to nine. So this is the um, one of the banner punches. It's got a, an innie and an outie. So I'm using this one here. So both ends of my sentiment, I'm gonna just tuck down that channel. I do like to turn it over and I like to check that it's in the middle because whilst it's gone down the track, you can actually get that slightly off skew. So I'm going to tuck it in there. I can see it's even at both ends and I'm just going to squeeze that and turn it around and we'll do the other end as well. So we'll just poke that in this way up. Okay, get it all the way down the track. Okay, it's easy with a longer piece. You've got a longer track to, to keep it in. But there, as long as I can just see a bit of daylight either side, I'll be happy with that. Punch that, and there, both ends are done lovely. So I'll close that punch up. Got bits in my jumper now, because it's pinged at me. This is a really cosy jumper, so um, it's, um, it is, I needed something, because I needed some heat in here. So I'm back to my memento and a um, sponge dauber. This was a new one tonight, but it is a black one. So I'm just going to go around the edges of that just to bring it down a little bit. And then we'll go back to the white pieces. Okay, deck. The daffodil bundle is really nice. It is lots of little bits, but I'm really pleased. They give you more than one of some of the pieces. So some of the elements, that, um, Stampin' Up! are very good at doing that. Then some of the die sets, if they know it's going to be used a lot, they, they've given you two of things. So two in it, two outwards. Um, that, the little piece I've used there um, hasn't got two, but the other pieces have. So they have just gone around a little bit of, um, just a little bit of um, smoking around the edges there, just to show you. You can see that on the camera. It's a really nice sentiment, that one, and it's a nice spring sentiment. So we'll pop that away. Now I'm going to be taking my, bringing my mat back, my sticky mat, and I'm going to be making these into pairs. So I want to put a little bit of Tombow on the top of the skittle. I'm going to call it a skittle because that's what it looks like. And then a tiny bit down the side here, just on that little sticky bit that wouldn't go down very well. And I'll take another one and I'm going to put them into pairs. Okay, like I say, the first one that guesses exactly, then um, what I'm making, you can just see me on there, can't you? Um, I will be um, sending you one of my cards. And that goes for overseas as well. There's a, I think there's a couple of overseas ones, is it? There is a, there's certainly Joy is. So I, I did have lots of fun playing with this. So I'm waiting for more guesses. So if you're joining me later on in the video, then I'm looking to say, what would it be if it wasn't what it was? 
So that's what my card's about. Oh, I've got a spare one. Don't need that one. I can't count when I cut six. Okay, doke. So just a little bit on the end there. Now this might be another, when I finish making, oh, a little bit down the side. Um, this might be something, I'm not sure if you have these in the States actually. You might be at a disadvantage. I think you do. Okay. Now having looked at this now, I'm thinking actually, you see what I say about what would it be if it wasn't what it was. You could actually make a dragonfly out of that. You'll get to know my game by the end of tonight. Okay, if you did that, you could actually make that dragon wing, dragonfly wings, couldn't you? Okay, it could be anything. So I'm going to put those the three aside. They are just about drying up. So I'm going to work on this piece because I want to actually trim the ends of some of my leaves to actually be coming off along the bottom here. So where have I put them? I have a whole stash. Now I think you will start to, to have some guesses, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm gonna put the big ones on first. So where did I have this one? That one came over to the left. I'm gonna have three of these big ones. I'm curious to know what you're all thinking. She's a mad woman, possibly. Now this one I'm going to kick the end over, so I'm not going to have that all the way down. And it won't come all the way to the bottom. So yes, we are making flowers. I'm going to turn the nib of that one over, the end of the leaf on that one. And just have that one coming down here somewhere. Okay, if you stick this down onto your card like Sandra did the first time, then you will find that you won't be able to trim the ends off. Yes, Shaz, well done. She's got it. The leaf gave it away, doesn't it? Because you've got a lot of leaves on here and it does look like a snowdrop leaf. Now, having said that, I'm going to nip a little bit off there because I'd rather it actually was level with the paper than the, the black layer. So, Joy, are you still with us? Just tell me if you're still there. I'm sure you have snowdrops in America. So, um, Shaz, you're going to have to send me your address. Your first one to guess, I think. Feathers was a good one as well. Yeah, you got the bowling pin was your skittle. There we go. So, do you like the idea then? I hope you do. I've not seen anybody do this at all. Um, I've cut this one a little bit shorter. So I'm just putting them on randomly and you want to have some going right and some going left. So this one I put down, put that one up there a little bit and I'll cut a piece off the bottom. But it does look a bit better with the, it level with the paper rather than the, I didn't want them to have exactly the same. Nature's not perfect, so I don't want them to be a Y um, completely. I want them to be different randoms. Yeah, well done, Pam. Your second. Shad has just got it. Yeah, the leaves are helping, aren't they? Building them wasn't anything like, but hey. So now you've guessed that bit, I can go back to putting these on. Once I put the stems on, you would definitely have got it. So this is the top of the daffodil, okay? Now, when I first did these, I had this over the top. And you can see they do look nice, but they actually, the top is green. So I am going to do a little bit of trimming on here. I'm going to put the Tombow on the top piece and then just curve this over the top. Now I will have to trim those end bits off, but it's worth it. So I'm just going to hold my finger on there for a bit. Fabulous idea. Like I say, and nobody, I haven't seen anybody do it. The daffodils have only been out a short while. Um, so this is what the back of the reverse of it looks like. And I'm just going to trim these off here. Okay, so trim around there and round the back. Just a tiny bit. It's just because of the shape of the daffodil. Okay, I need to come from the front so that I can see where the white is. And that is one of my daffodils, my, one of my snowflake, uh, snowdrops. So that one will sit on there. Um, I'll just leave that one on there for now as we build the others. Okay, but you can see why I was so excited about it. I had a cut a whole ton of leaves just before I came on air. I want one that's facing the other direction. 
So we'll have one coming this way. So again, I'll put the, the white blob just at the top of the, where I've put the pair together. As I said, my first take, I put the white on the top and, and then I just came to it tonight and I didn't like it. I thought, we know that they hang in a cluster. You can actually hang just the one on its own. Um, that works well as well um, because the buds are actually quite tight. So if I just, while I'm doing this, I'm going to bring up some photos for you. Oh, not that one. Bring that up there. Look at how that snow snowdrop sits. Okay, they're quite a, a tight bud, aren't they? And that is a one piece. So if you wanted to do the buds, that's what you'd look at. And then I've got some more pictures here. These are some I took in our garden this afternoon. So these are just as they hang, this is like up above them and they are hanging. They're not fully open yet. But that was just to give you a couple of ideas as to what they, um, what they look like. That one and that one and that one. There we go, I'll bring you back to me. So I, I was very prepared for today. So Pam, do you like the title? What would it be if it wasn't what it was? And you'll have to listen to the beginning. I've got a friend, I did my, gave you my story as to how I came up with that. So it's dedicated to my friend Sue from Ipswich. And it's a game we used to play at um, Barclays when we got together. And no matter what the venue was, there'd always be things that you could pick out to think, well, what would it be if it wasn't what it was? So it's supposed to be daffodils, but now it's Sandra's made snowdrops. Okay, so I'm just trimming that excess off around the top there so that when you turn them back over, they curl nicely. Now, I didn't want them to be... I'm going to put that one up there, actually. I have got my sample one I'm working from. And then I didn't want them all to be hanging the same way. So I'm going to just stick this... I think I'm going to put this layer onto my card now. I'm just not trying to give too much away, you see. So we've got three on there. I'm going to put some foam pads on the back here. So, and I thought the mixture of greens, I did ask the girls earlier on my Wing It Wednesday, just did the greens work? And I think that you'll find that they do, you, you'll agree with me that they do. Okay, just peel those off. So the black and white on the paper here is the back of the Granny Apple Green one from the Hostess um, papers. So we're not there yet, but as we get to the end of this catalogue, I will be ensuring that I do stock up on some of these papers because they are gorgeous. I've got some more in at the moment, but there'll be some more on my next order. Okay, so that's there. We've kicked one of the leaves up here and we're going to kick another one. We're going to fit some more in in a little while. So we want to make sure these are facing the right way. It's going to have this one coming down here. And I would just recommend that you snip this off at the paper before you stick it down. Okay, so I'm going to turn this one over as well. And I'm going to have one large dimensional on the body of the flower. And then one mini just on the head of the flower up the top there. So the flowers will be raised and the rest will be tomboed. Oh, you're deciding to Google. Oh, bless you. Oh, yeah, because you can't comment. Oh, Pam, you might have to have one as well. I'll make you another one. Oh, I'll make up another sample, should I say. And you can have it because there's one of my samples here and then Shaz can have the other one. So I'm going to have this one. So it's just coming out. I like things going over the edge. OK, but I do want this level at the bottom. So I kind of based it around that, really. I was trying to be deceive you a little bit, you see, by holding them differently and sticking them up the other way. And But hey, you two are too clever. So I'm going to have that one coming up in the middle and doing the same with that. I'm going to put a large one in the middle and a little one on the head at the top. And then, oops. Now, don't you just find these pieces all over your house? Mm. Um, doesn't matter where if I've got people staying I have them upstairs up the stairs in the bathrooms everywhere when people get undressed they've got them clinging to their clothes the downstairs loo I find them in there it's amazing oh I forgot to snip the end off this one so I'll have to be careful at the bottom so I'm just going to have that one hanging over slightly there 
stick him down and then snip this off at the bottom there we go so they're all pretty level put that in the bin and then we've got this one here um i didn't want this one to come up i sticking out like i want it to be at a different angle so i'm going to pop that one there and i'll cut that one off so these are good for using up scraps because you don't have to use your certainly for scrap white but your stems you don't have to cut the whole length if you've got shorter pieces you can actually um, use up your shorter lengths of green so that one's on there okay I'm just coming down here just a little bit on there we're nearly there and then I've got the um, I'm going to do the envelope for you just going to hope that the measurements work on that one we're very close for the UK sizes okie doke so there we go and I'm going to stick some more leaves on now um, I'm going to have one going the other way when you cut these there is actually a right and a wrong way when you cut the dies will go downwards so you want to use that side and not have the rough side coming upwards so I'm going to have this one coming out here, snip that one, and I'm going to turn the tops over. Just, just twist it, just do something with it, because nature's not perfect. I'm always saying that, nature's not perfect. It's not, you don't get things in straight lines. They don't grow um, properly, do they? So that one can come over there. So you've got a bit of dimension, you've got some kicked back leaves, you could do some more if you wanted. Um, I could stick another one in the middle there, but I don't really think I need it because our sentiment's going to come across there like so. Okay, so pads on there. I've got stamp and dimensionals. I'll put three across there, one each end, and one in the middle. There we go. And that's done. And that's going to come through the middle. Now this layout that I've used for the cutting of these papers is going to be for another week. Um, I have got, a, I think I've got a digital version of that one. And there's the finished card. Okay, so I hope you like that. Okay, but we're not done, so don't run away yet. I haven't put any um, gems on this one yet. Um, I was looking for my, I have my wink of Stella here. If you think that this time of year you might have some frost, um, you could put some just a little bit of Wink of Stella on here as well. So just give it a little bit of sparkle um, when it's sitting there in the morning. You can also put some down your leaves. I'll just squeeze that onto a tissue. Just bring some more down into my well. This one is actually running out now, I think. I've got another one for my watercolour pot. Don't ever throw your Wink of Stella brushes away, will you? Your regulars, I think most of you so far, but there'll be people playing on, uh, watching on playback. I do, um, I never throw away my Wink of Stellas. So just little bits where you think there might be a little glistening of frost on there. Just takes a little bit of the edge off the plain green. Okay. There's a lot of stems there and um, I, I needed, I, I need the greeting could go on there somewhere. So that was a natural place to put it okay so we'll take photos i'll pop them on my facebook page as well at the end but we've got to make the envelope for it now i have some surplus um green stems there so i'm going to put those out of the way and i'm going to bring my trimmer in now on monday i'm just going to oh sunday sorry i'll just show you what we did on sunday and i'm going to use the same principle um sarah our ceo stamping up um our CEO, she, um, she showed us um, a while back, she showed us some cutting diagrams for some envelopes. So I made this out of a half sheet that all three of her styles were out of the A3, uh, half a sheet, so six by 12 inches of um, paper. Now the American sizes, if Joy's still with us, um, the American sizes are slightly different. So this was my card and on the small size, I had a strip of seven centimeters across here. So I was able to make two pieces for cards. So I love this. That was my Sunday night live on Facebook if you wanted to watch that and the measurements for that size card. So I'm going to take my half a piece of the same paper. Now, do we want to have, I think the white might be too much on the outside. I think I'm going to go down the green side. So we started with this one by having half, half a centimetre, uh, sorry, um, 
was it? Um, she did, she did one point nine. I did the other day. I did two centimeters. So I'm going to go two centimeters. Just get the cutting blade out of the way. Two centimeters on each side, and that's going to be for the sides of the card. So two and two. Okay, and then we'll have five for the flap, and then the middle piece is the depth of your card. So five for the first flap. And then we want this to be cover 14.8. So I need this to be, I'm going to go 15 centimetres on there. And then the last piece will be the, the rest of the flap. And we are going to use the whole piece for this. I'll put that to one side just for a minute. But I want to just fold these over and just show you where we're going. I've covered up my other one. Along there, all along this edge. Along here and along this edge. But our sizes are slightly different to yours, Joy, so if you're still on here. Okay, so there's the piece, our card should fit in the middle there. I am just gonna test it. Um, so that's gonna fit in there. It is a snug fit. This one will come up and that will come down. It is just going to meet, that's the trouble. It's gonna be a little bit short. So if you're gonna make your envelopes with this one, I would make your cards sli very slightly shorter now we could, I've got a side fold on this one, so I could actually make that very slightly shorter. Um, just take a tiny little whisper off there. Um, I did the 14.8, so maybe we need to go down to 14.5 on this card. I'm just gonna cut that piece off at the top. This is where the US sizes are slightly different to us, you see. I'm taking a slight bit off the top and the bottom, just so that it makes it even. It won't spoil the card at all. It's still a really nice card, but it's going to fit in that envelope better. So we'll have that. And then we could actually bring that over on another gusset. So we're going to make that slightly, where I said 15, we're going to go slightly smaller on there. So you'll do this, but I'll do a diagram properly for the sizes, but I'll wait until I've done the third one as well, another day, and then do the whole set of three. Okay, where you have a score line, if you go over it with your bone fold at the opposite side, you can actually lose that piece. So that's going to go inside there, and these will be the pieces, they will overlap. So I'm going to just show you what I did with the sides here. I did it on Sunday, but we'll do it on one piece at a time. I'll cut these, all the four corners out, just like making boxes. So we cut these completely, might be easier to see on the green these pieces off completely and as they're long sections I'm going to get my big scissors out okay so you come up here like so so that was just under the 15 that middle section and then your card wants to be 14 and a half okay so just coming up here and snip that one off and then we'll taper these at the end I'll do the four pieces first so four corners. If you're box makers, you'll seen me done this be several times before. Okay. But it's an easy way to make it. Now that stamping up, I love this, the envelope punch board, but sadly um, it retired. Um, and you know me, I don't throw my pieces away here. They, um, they get used for scraps, for scrap cards. So these pieces in the middle here, I'm just going to taper this very slightly on all four of these. Okay, there, 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 and there. Now, I showed them on Sunday, and it's the same principle on all three sizes. We want to have, I bring. I recommend you bring your sides in. So this one here, we're going to taper this slightly. So I'm going to have the white point here on my trimmer. Can you see? Can you see that enough? This white piece is here is in the trimmer. And then this piece, instead of being straight, we're going to pivot that round to the first black line so you're going to put that there and then cut down that corner cut it off okay and we'll turn around and we'll do exactly the same the other side so again this piece here where it joins the card put it in straight this is going to be in the cutting track and this piece will pivot round to that first mark on your trimmer this is if you've got the stampin up trimmer which obviously we recommend you do have i love it because it scores and cuts in one go now i'm going to swap these pieces over I'm going to do the same here. 
So if you start by putting it in straight, this piece is on your cutting track and this one is just gonna pivot out slightly to the first, first black line. Okay. Sorry, I'm not watching the comments. I'll catch up on those a little bit later. Yes, Joy, you're, you're, slightly, you're slightly fatter and slightly short, um, yeah, shorter but wider, if that makes, that, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm doing the other side here again. This one's in your cutting track, so put it in straight and then just pivot this edge round to the first mark. It will slightly taper that for you. Okay, there we go. If you've got a tiny piece and you're starting here, it's better to start like I just did automatically in the middle and go upwards and downwards from it. If you're just shaving something, it, you'll end up ripping from the, where the point is. You might pucker that up a little bit. So it's better to do it that way if you can. Okie doke. So there we go. So there is my envelope. So this is the piece that's gonna come up. Okay, so that's ready on there. My card will go inside, that will slide down here. And I recommend that you put them in upside down so you don't catch it everywhere. And this will be the flap. So straight away, I take my double-sided tape, my tear and tape, and put that along that top flap. That way, if you're gifting them or selling them, then that will be the, the piece that they will remove to seal their card. And then down here, you can use your Tombow if you like, but on the envelopes, I do tend to like my tear and tape. I just take that down there and down there. And then use my take your pick tool or your point of your scissors just to lift the tape off. And I'll show you the wings. They were fascinated, somebody was fascinated with the wings the other day. If you haven't met wings, then this is how we do our cards where you've got tape if you turn that over and you make sure that you've got it nice and straight first okay and then you remove that wing and it just glides up there and you know i'd normally have done the top end rather than the bottom end so you could just release that paper hold it in place and you release it if you had got it in the right place it's easier to remove one little corner each side than it is the whole piece Okay, so there is my finished envelope. I would recommend that you put a die cut shape on here um, or a sticky label. If you're going to mail these, then just put a sticky label on it so it's flat. If you're going to hand deliver it, I'd use a nice die cut shape or punched shape and then just put their, um, a comment on there. Okay, so once again, there is my card and the, um, the handmade envelope. Okay, um, these I just leave kicked up. They don't have to be stuck down. You could put a little glue dot under there if you wanted. And then your card will pop in there like so and come down to seal. There we go. So that's just as easy as that. And then that's ready to mail. Okay, I hope you love that. Hi, Jane, you've joined us as well. Well done. It's just a different version of the envelope from Sunday night. And my, what would it be if it wasn't what it was? Turning the... Um, daffodil dies into the snow the snowdrop okay so I hope I entertained you this evening I'm going to bring you back onto me I hope I entertained you um, I love Sunday night's one that was really good um, so many tips in there I couldn't I couldn't um, I lost count as to how many tips there were um, and then hopefully tonight's been good for you as well Okay, like I say, I'm here every Wednesday now, um, nine o'clock um, on YouTube Live, and then keeping my Facebook Lives on the Sunday, the Sunday night. Okay, if you haven't been here before, then please hit the like and subscribe button and share any of these with your friends, whether it's be the Facebook ones or the YouTube ones. I always forget to ask people to share. If you share, that helps me. Um, it doesn't cost you anything, but it's just nice to get in the front of your friends and say, oh, look, you know, here's a nice presentation. Uh, love the card. Just have a look at it. Totally free. Okay, but it helps me get in front of more people. Okay, so thanks for that. If there's any, yeah, and the entertainment, thanks, Joy. Um, so we have got Woohoo this weekend, haven't we, Joy? So I will be on at nine o'clock in the morning on Saturday and Jackie will be at 10 o'clock in the morning. That We're the two UK people. And then Joy is on there as well and lots of the others from the Global Share Fair group with an hour of different presentations. So we're to be doing an hour with four pieces of information um, and uh, live in there. OK, so please join that. If you aren't in the Woohoo groups, just give me a shout if you want to go in there and I'll make sure you get the invite. 
Okay, so I think that's all from me. Um, just any ideas for future lives, then please just give me a, a message and let me know what you'd like to see. Okay, take care. Bye for now. See you.